The decision that I made that changed my life was that I decided I was going to ask this woman for 10 minutes alone <laughs> to see if she would come and talk to me so I could tell her how I felt about her. And this is after we had been on a safari together. She had been on one of my safaris and she had for 30 10 days. she had for 10 days and she had 30 <laughs> of her students and I never had time to spend alone with her. But when I saw her, I thought, this is a woman that I would like to spend the rest of my life with. But maybe I will never get the chance to ask her if she would like to spend more time with me. And I said, would you like to have 10 minutes of your time with me? And she said, yes. Can I have 10 minutes of the time with you? And I said, I would like you to come back and I'd like you to spend more time with me. And she said, yes. So that changed our life. So and two years later, we were married. Two years later, we were married, but that was only after persistence of continually <laughs> asking her on it's my true. part. And then she says, you don't know me. She says, until you know me, then you can ask me. And I finally, one day, I got exasperated with her. I said, you are a difficult and stubborn woman. She says, now you now know you me, can ask me, and now you can ask me. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the 10 minute decision? So that was the 10 minutes. <laughs> and now we're married very happily, and then we live on different continents. And then I go back to see her sometimes, but she comes over more to see me. But we have a very happy relationship, and everybody says, how do you maintain a long-distance relationship? And we said, it's easy when you're in love. Not a problem. My life changed after the military uh, when I was looking for a job. And uh, the job found me. <laughs> The moment that changes my life is when I come to know God, when I realize that He's my Heavenly Father and, um, and Jesus Christ is my brother and that the things that they're teaching me and has all great eternal uh, perspective and values. And so our purpose here and our meanings here, all, all being here, all very uh, significant, it's not just shallow, it's not just material, but it's life eternal and has great purpose and it's so wonderful and I'm thankful to my Heavenly Father and His Son Jesus Christ. And coming to know them has changed my life completely. Um, I look at things and people differently and I try to do as what they command me to do. And um, Jesus taught that there are two, two simple laws. One is to love God with all your heart, with all your might and mind. And the other one is to love your neighbor as yourself. So when I look at people now, I see them differently. And, and I think that is a wonderful thing that I'm learning. So I'm very thankful to God. And in Jesus' name, Amen. Alors, j'ai donc pris l'initiative de me jeter, parce que ça demandait du courage. Et ça demandait beaucoup plus de courage et de volonté. La volonté, pourquoi Parce que on a vu d'autres qui l'ont fait. Les conséquences ne sont pas toujours euh, euh, fructueuses. Il y a des inconvénients, il y a des avantages. Mais le tout, c'est de, de voir ce qu'on peut gagner. Et lorsqu'on s'engage, engageons-nous à fond. Mettons-nous à fond. Afin de pouvoir apporter un plus à soi-même. Avoir un profit personnel. Pouvoir être satisfait personnellement. Parce que c'est le plus important. Et la chose la plus importante, c'est de savoir que quel que soit le résultat, il faut persévérer. Parce que la vie est une situation d'échec et de réussite, des hauts et des bas. Aujourd'hui, je suis fier de moi parce que euh, j'ai acquis ce que j'appelle pour moi le bonheur. Qui est quoi avoir une petite... Euh, la, la fierté personnelle, savoir que je ne suis pas en dessous de l'échelle, je ne suis non plus au-dessus de l'échelle, mais au moins j'ai la fierté que je ne suis plus resté le même, j'ai eu un changement, j'ai eu de l'évolution dans ma vie, dans un plan comme dans l'autre. Et je vous conseille également d'en faire autant. Merci. Ok, the one moment which made my life, life more different and more colorful and happy is uh, when I wrote, uh, when I read a book by Shakti Gawain and uh, I realized that all our, all our dreams and all our thoughts, they are uh, spaced in here and that were all connected and uh, my, my attitude and my feeling of myself, it influences the others 
and uh, my mind can make reality. And uh, I had, after I read this book, I had many, many, uh, how, how do you say it, many uh, evidences that it's real. Uh, for example, I lost my, all my baggage, all my money, uh, my big camera in the train, it left without me, like in the movie I was running after the train, ah, it came me. And, uh, well, after that I was really, really thinking positively and uh, making a picture how I get all my stuff. And really in a miracle, it, uh, I got it back because it was very, very a uh, big story about it because the police couldn't uh, give me this, couldn't find my stuff and well every crap happened <laughs> and then it turned out good and the other uh, evidence was when I lost my passport in the Budapest forest <laughs> on the open air and I realized that only was I, when I was in Netherlands <laughs> and then I was also thinking positively and imagining how I have my passport and uh, the guy who was also on that open air in Budapest, he found it, I don't know how and he got me this and when you feel well the when every day you understand that life is a game and we're here just to to feel it, we're here to enjoy it because it's a big, it's not something that you have to have many, many, uh, well, bad things to go through. No, really, we came here, we have this body to, to enjoy it. And I've realized also this recently, I felt it, how lucky am I to have this body and to explore this wonderful world. And when you think of it, you just you th you feel it and it goes out of you and other people feel it as well and you see the world changing just in front of your eyes well when you just okay, okay. well the moment that changed my life uh, was a personal loss of a friend of mine. Um, he was a very vibrant and active character. And after the loss of his, I decided to take my life more seriously in terms of doing more things and do whatever I really liked to do. Uh, so that was the incident that really stigmatized me. Okay, when I was um, younger, I decided to study marketing, but after many years, um, this changed. I went to a drama school and I became an actress, and this was the best thing for me. It changed my life and my character, even though I had a difficult times with my parents, but uh, I love it, and this was the most uh, beautiful thing that happened in my life. Thank you. Okay, well, I think coming closer to an answer of the question you gave me is that maybe I would say that um, maybe 10 years ago when I was like um, in the middle of my studies in clinical psychology and even though I had a, a feeling that I was, I also had different parts of me like more creative sides, a, fr a friend of mine in London who's a director, he, he always liked my sense of fashion and style and stuff so he asked me to style up um, a short film he was doing. So I was uh, really challenged by the proposal and said yes. And um, that's how I kind of got and shot the first film and I did all the styling for it. And then since then, another production of, uh, of company saw the work and they liked it and then they contacted me. So since then I've been trying to combine my mental side, which is my, my psychology work, dealing with my patients, which I love, but also my creative side, which I also respect and I want to follow. And since then I made a book myself um, in photography and uh, the work was done in London and then it was published in Greece. 
and an exhibition in photography. So since then, I've been trying to combine my my work in psychology and my creative side, doing projects in both fields.